Hey guys, Keith here, making more videos again. In this video, we're going to talk about the notorious issue that plagues every single Tesla Model S with these type of headlights. And yes, I'm talking about the LED strip burnout issue. As you can see right here, this is exactly what happens when that burnout happens. And when I asked Tesla, can you fix it? They gave me a quote for $1,500. So I decided to take it on myself and try to find this part on eBay for $200 and do it myself. And since I am going to be taking off the bumper to do this process as a mini bonus, I will also be installing fog lights and also a silver trim. So that will be at the end of the video. But first thing first, pop the frunk and we're going to have to take off these trim pieces, plastic trim pieces. You're not going to break anything, just pop it up using just your hands, nothing else, and move it out the way. Once you're done with that, you're gonna take your 10 millimeter socket, if you haven't lost it yet, and take off this one bolt right there and another bolt right on the actual bumper itself, on both sides, and that's how it should look. Easy enough, and now it's time to go to the wheel arch and use a T25 Torx bit, and basically take off this screw that is hidden on the side right there. You're gonna, it's not hard to miss, and fairly simple to find. That's actually when you can start prying this actual bumper off. You can also push this grubber grommet through right here. This is for the sensor, to keep the sensor water resistant. And then we're going to go to the bottom of the vehicle right here and there's some push clips and you can take your tool, you can use a screwdriver, I use like a fancy little pick tool and just take them out and it should come off fairly easily. There's three on each side and then two 10 millimeter bolts that you need to take out as well. A lot of people tell you you need to lift your vehicle up to do this, trust me you do not. You just get underneath there and get the job done without lifting your vehicle. And now as long as you do the other side, your bumper is completely removable. Now I did put some boxes to support the bumper because there is a wire harness on the left side of this vehicle that you don't want to rip apart. As you can see right here, this is how the bumper is supposed to look and the wire harness is safely out of the way so you can continue working. Next, you're gonna take this plastic piece off. Now, obviously you can unscrew that little rubber grommet, but or you can just take it off like so. Not a big deal. Once you take it off, you are able to access the bolts required to take off the headlight. And there are 10 millimeter bolts, one, two, and then three on the bottom right here. And last but not least, the fourth one, which is on the side right there. Once you take those bolts off, you're gonna also need to take off this one extra bolt on the bottom right here. And that's so you can get easy access to taking the headlight out towards you and not pulling it up. So you can see, once you take that off, the headlight just slides right out towards you. Now, before you actually slide that headlight off, it's completely ready to go. You just need to unplug the wiring harness and there's only one wiring harness, so don't unplug anything else. And it looks like this, just push the tab and pull it out and your headlights just come out fairly simply. And you can see right here, this one is the eBay one that looks nice and clean and the old one is right there. Man, man, I was thinking of doing both of the headlights because why not? It looks clean, looks nice, but you know what? Just stick with one. And you know what the good part about these headlights? You do not have to level them. You don't have to angle them. You have to do nothing. So you just plug and play it into your vehicle. And look at that. I'm telling you right now, I had a sigh of relief. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been driving this vehicle with one busted LED strip. And now with just 200 bucks, I was able to do it in about 30 minutes. This is my first time replacing an entire headlight like this. So it's not hard at all, guys. Now here's the actual bonus clip right here. This is where I also installed the silver trim and also the fog light. You can see I'm pointing at the fog light right there. And the silver trims are gonna be behind these uh, electronic louvers. Unplug this little harness right here. And also, I'm pointing at the screws that you need to take out using the Torx bit. And if you don't have the Torx bit, I've left the link in the description section of the video below. Go ahead and check it out. But this as well is plug and play. I've left this link in the description as well. I know a lot of people like the blacked out look. I like the OEM chrome look that came with the higher trim of this vehicle. And it's easy as just pulling the tab and taking it out and then replacing it with a brand new one. You can see the brand new one right there. Man, it looks clean. 
and I like the chrome look because it looks OEM and it looks like it came straight from the factory with the higher trim model. You can just slip it in there and click it in place and you're good to go. And then for the fog light, it's the same thing, plug and play. Take out the screws right there, unplug it, and plug and play it back in and this is the finished product guys oh my gosh like i said such a easy simple job that if you're gonna take out your bumper might as well do this if you don't have the fog lights like i said mine is not the lighting package trim the premium trim but now it definitely has all the premium features in the front look at that this is how your vehicle should look guys and, and you can see the before and after the led strip is working perfectly this ebay light is not a knockoff light it actually came from another vehicle that's a tesla model s and i'll leave all the links in the description section of the video below guys for everything that I installed, but this is absolutely beautiful. I didn't have to spend $1,500 that Tesla wanted, just spent 200 bucks and got it done. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I've done this and it's extremely easy to do and I can answer anybody that needs help. But that's pretty much it for this video. Catch you in the next video. Can you just hear saying thanks for watching and peace. Put the door sill in there, press it down, and you are literally done. Now to activate these door seals, you're gonna need this magnet and this magnet actually sticks underneath of the door in a specific position so that when the door closes, it turns off the LEDs and then when it opens, the LEDs turn back on. And they stay lit for about 10 seconds or 15.